Well, it's not too often that Fred from the cartoon Scooby-Doo can help us figure out some hardcore scientific stuff. And tonight, he does that. Saw this meme earlier today, and I just had to share it with you. I know we've all been living through 100-degree weather today, hottest day of the year, and we've all come up with words to call this Hot-tober, July 81st, but... We would have got away with it if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Here's what we lived through today, 100 degrees. It has been more than two years, more than 800 days since the Triangle has had a 100 degree day. And it was way above our average high temperature of 77. Not only is that our average high, our average low is actually in the 50s. And we've got some of those on the seven-day forecast. Not tomorrow, though. Tomorrow is Friday. That's the best news I have. It'll start off at 71 degrees as you leave for work and school, up to 87 by lunchtime, on our way to a high of 90. Remember, tomorrow is the day the cold front comes through. The cold front's not going to bring us any rain, but it's a cold front with some cool air behind it. So technically, we're going to be 10 degrees cooler tomorrow, and you're really going to start to feel those cooler temperatures as we get into tomorrow night, Friday night, and Saturday morning. The sun was not our friend today, was it? But I've got a super sunset to help us get through this hot Thursday. I'll put this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page, but Donnie up in Lewisburg last week captured this amazing shot. Love the orange there in the skyline. Don't love the fact that our days continue to get shorter. The sun is now setting at 656. The weather map has, again, hot, high pressure dominating our weather. Did it today. We'll kind of do it tomorrow. I mean, again, it's going to be cooler, but it's not going to be cool. There's the front right now in Tennessee. As the maps go into motion, it'll move through midday tomorrow. Won't notice anything passing overhead. No extra clouds, no rain with it. But you'll notice the cooler temperatures late in the day as well as lower humidity. You'll really notice it this weekend. Mornings in the 50s, days in the 70s. But it's going to come with a lot of cloud cover. That high pressure not close enough to clear us out. It's actually going to help drop our temperatures and humidity. But you will notice extra clouds throughout the day. And then, wait... Another cold front on Monday. This one will bring a little bit of rain and another blast of cool air for later in the week. But there's nothing cool about tomorrow. 94 in Fayetteville, 91 for a high in Sanford. Friday's temperatures in Wayne County, 94, 89 in Wilson. So upper 80s, technically a little cooler. But again, it's not going to feel drastically cooler. And we'll top out around 90 still more than 10 degrees above average for this time of year. But it's not just the daytime highs that are about to cool down. The mornings will, too. This morning, it was 70. And again, tomorrow morning, it'll be 71. But look at Saturday morning, 57 degrees. Fall-like temperatures will be returning. And Friday night, football tomorrow will feel a little more fall-like. Our game of the week is Southwest Edgecombe at uh, Corinth Holders. We'll kick off with temperatures in the upper 70s, and games will finish up around town about 70 degrees. So after 90 tomorrow, we really crank down the thermostat Saturday with a high of 71. 80 degrees on Sunday, so we do warm it back up. And then we're 82 on Monday with a 40% chance of some drastically needed rain with cold front number two. And that second cold front will bring us back into the 70s next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So cooler temperatures and rain, two things that a lot of us have been asking for. I don't know if we've been asking for another 90-degree day tomorrow, but that's what we've got.